Just a friendly reminder from your boy Animated Heroes, don't forget to check out my boys at Sculptomo Toys for the best figures, best prices, and fastest shipping if you guys haven't already. Let's get into it. What the heck is up you guys, Animated Heroes here back with another review for you guys. And as you can see today, we're going to be taking a look at the Mezco 112 Collective Pose Play and Display Black Panther figure. And as always, this box is too damn big for my screen. But I tried to fit as much as I could on here for you guys who love seeing that sexy packaging. Mezco boxes are always too big, in my opinion. And we've seen them make smaller boxes, so I have no idea why they continue to make their boxes on their regular releases. This huge, it makes absolutely no sense to me, and it would seem like it would cost more to do so. But that being said, I'm going to try my best to solve that sexy packaging so we can get into the figure. Now, as you guys can hopefully see, it says Black Panther at the top, Marvel Black Panther right there, 112 Collective Pose Play and Display, Marvel at the bottom. If you look at it close enough, you can see like the Black Panther pattern from his clothing on there, which looks really cool. At the top, it says 112 Pose Display and Play. At the bottom, you don't have anything going on. Cool Black Panther logo right there. Mezco Toys at the bottom. On this side, nothing much. Same thing. And of course, on the back, you got some poses you can get the figure into. The figure right there with that alternate head. And of course, his accessories. Lacking a little bit, but I mean, there wasn't much they could do for him. Anyway, let's check out the figure because that's what we're all stoked for. Now, straight out of the packaging, I will say that looking at this figure, he looks very, 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 very bland. And that's just because he doesn't have all of the joints showing and it's a solid black outfit. There really wasn't much they could do to work around this. As you guys can see, it does have all the texture in the suit, the texture in the mask. It flows together pretty well and it looks very nice. They did good with what paint they had to do. No issues with that. But man, it does look very plain. I do dig the look of the helmet. They did a really great job on that. You can see all the sculpted designs and stuff in there. The necklace looks nice as well. The costume has all of the details in it, even though it's just pretty much black. This is almost like the same as getting the Batman Beyond Mezco figure, if you guys saw that. But um, yeah, it leads up to the gauntlets and then all of this is sculpted. Hands, of course, sculpted. And from right here, the boots are sculpted as well, and whatever you want to call these little, I don't know, sandals or whatever he's wearing. All of this is probably made out of a branium, whatever. But it looks great. It's just super, super bland. And he'll probably look really great in some photos, but I don't know. Straight out of the box, I mean... It's, it's it's cool. I dig it. I like Black Panther. So it's definitely enough for me to keep it. But we will know the true verdict once I get to the articulation. Let's go ahead and put this guy back and see how tall he stands first. Now we all know that Mezco scales their figures to stand par with Andre the Giant and the Great Khali. But this guy here stands right at six and a half inches Tall. So he's not extremely huge. Probably is going to fit right in with other Mezco figures. He is going to be a little bit bigger than SH Figure Arts. That's something I can tell already. I don't have any other Marvel SH Figure Arts, so don't expect any of those comparisons. But I can tell just from having a few of them. And of course, I will show other size comparisons later. Let's dive into the articulation. Now, articulation-wise, he does look up about that much, which is definitely good enough. Looks down about that much before his chin reaches the neck. Not too much, but, I mean, it's fine. His head does tilt very well. You can turn it all the way around because it's on a ball peg. Arm goes up that much. Very good. I'm happy about that. He does have a swivel at the bicep. Double-jointed elbows, of course, is going to be hindered a little bit by the clothing, but that's not too bad. Hands are on the typical Mezco peg, and they work very well moving around. Around. You can get a whole lot of motion out of those. There is a diaphragm joint, but you get very, 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 very little articulation out of it. This is about as much as he can crunch forward. You're not going to get much out of that. He does have a slight waist swivel as well, so you can turn him left and right. But of course, due to the clothing, you're not going to be able to do too much. Foot goes forward that much, definitely good enough, that's passable. Doesn't go back, he can do the splits, but I don't recommend pushing it any more than that because you 
do not want to rip these clothes. His knees are double jointed, which is good enough. It looks nice. I dig it. He has no swivel right here or right here. So you're not going to be able to get anything out of that. Foot goes down about that much and i'm not gonna push it because honestly it feels like it's just gonna snap off in there so i'm not gonna do that it does go up a little bit and he has a slight ankle pivot not very much so articulation wise passable uh, it's standard mezco you can't expect too much from it and of course it's going to be limited in certain areas due to the clothing so yeah i mean you can get him into a few poses but not a whole lot of dynamics. The main pose that matters, Wakanda Forever, you cannot do. This is about as much as you can get to make him hold. So, yeah. Uh, you're going to have to forget about that one. Now, for accessories, the king of Wakanda does come with a pair of fist hands or paws, whatever you want to call them. He comes with a pair of clawing paws, which have the claws out and they look very sick. He comes with a pair of relaxed hands, but he ain't relaxed enough that he don't got his claws out because he always ready. And by the way, these are sculpted very very well they have so much detail in them and that's something that i really like he also comes with a pair of holding hands and this is for his weapon of wakanda which is what he actually used to fight umbaku that's my cousin for you guys that don't know this looks very sick i'm not gonna lie they painted this very well and i really like all the different shades and texture they use to make it look as nice as it does because this this could have been a bad accessory but they did very well with it he also comes with his blade which looks sick as well they did a very good job on this. Now, this part right here is plain, but like the texturing and the sculpt and all that in here looks very nice. And also this piece right here, they did very well with that. I'm very pleased. And lastly, he comes with his Chadwick Boseman head, which eh, I mean, it kind of looks like the actor. We already know that. They're not the best at making head sculpts look like the actors, but they're definitely not the worst. It's very, very, very passable. So I dig it. I'm glad that they included this accessory because other companies don't. <coughs> That's it, three girls. Last thing he comes with a stand that I will never use. Now, for those people who like comparing apples and oranges, here he is standing next to the Marvel Legends version of the Infinity War costume slash Black Panther, whichever one you want to call it. If I had to decide which one I like better, I'm going to go with this one because the proportions are actually very, very accurate on this one. The more that I play with this one, I'm actually really, really digging it. And it's making me want to throw this one in the trash can. So personally, if I had to choose, I like this one better. Not even going to lie to you guys. Now for some size comparisons here, he's standing next to the SH Figure Arts Civil War Black Panther, which is of course my most favorite costume. That one just looks the most badass and menacing. And here he is standing next to this Marvel Legends that is about to become trash. Next up here he is standing next to my cousin, the Marvel Legends 2-Pack Killmonger, which still has one of the best head sculpts of a figure I have ever seen that resembles the actor. And of course the Mezco Tactical Suit Batman that I also got from Sculptimo Toys. Shout out to them again. And just for some extras, here he is standing next to the Super Warrior Awakening Goku with the Demonical Fit Ultra Instinct Mastered Head on it. And of course, the SH Figure Arts Future Trunks from Dragon Ball Super that I actually just opened two nights ago, even though I had it for like three or four months. And now for the verdict. This figure is actually pretty dope. The more I play with it, the more I am enjoying it. No joke. Like at first when I opened it, I was just kind of eh, because it is a very, very, very bland figure, just like I said. But the more I pose it around, the more I am really, really enjoying it. I mean, like I said, it's Mezco's attempt at a character who wears all black. There's really not much you can expect out of it. And there's nothing much they could do to make this figure pop anymore. And I mean, a few more accessories would have been nice, but what more could they really do? And I mean, 
for what they did, for what they gave us, standard Mezco price, I think they did a really good job with it. Now, of course, the only issue that I always have with Mezco is articulation. I really wish they would up their articulation. I don't know if it's because they're using the same molds, which it doesn't feel like because this figure actually feels a lot thinner than any Mezco I've ever had. Of course, I don't collect a whole lot of them. I usually only get Batman figures from them, but this one feels very thin and small compared to most. So it's a refresher for me. It actually feels like a new figure and not one that's using that same buck, same mold, whatever, whatever, whatever. Now I will say the head does look like it's on a pretty big side. Like his head looks huge, but then again, it's a helmet. So, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. But other than that, I really don't have very many complaints with this figure. They did what they did and they worked with what they had to work with. And it came out very well. I'm very, very pleased with this figure, honestly. And if you guys like Black Panther, honestly, I really feel like you guys will enjoy this figure just as much as I do. I do recommend giving it a shot. We all know what happens when Mezco figures comes out and people don't get their hands on them. They get rare and then people want to try to buy them and they don't want to pay the ridiculous prices. So they complain about them. So at least pick it up for 80 while it's still retail price. If you don't like it, keep it for a little bit and sell it. That's exactly what you can do. You can make more off Mezco figures than you pay because the retail always goes up for whatever reason. That's just the supply and demand part of it. It's not necessarily scalping, but I'm not even going to get into that. So, yeah, that's my review of this guy. And also, before I forget, shout out to the boy Sculptimo Toys. I cannot say that enough, man. You guys really don't know how much I appreciate you, man. Always helping me out. Always coming through with these Mezcos, hooking me up. You know what I'm saying, man? You guys are amazing. I can't say that enough. And to everyone who has not shopped with them, what are you doing, man? Check them out. They ship things so fast. Like I wasn't even supposed to get this for another day at least. And here it is. It came in early so check them out free shipping by the way as well so check them out if you haven't already now back to the figure if i was to rate this figure i would give it yeah, i can give it a seven eight something like that i mean it's a good figure it's just very very bland but like i said I think I can have some fun with it. So that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Bro, if you ain't subscribed to my channel, what are you doing here? Like, I mean, come on now. We, we, we've, been, we've been doing this long enough. Y'all already know to subscribe. So follow me on everything you see listed in the description below for more content. And of course, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.